Imagine if you only came out after dark, were colorblind, and depended on your nose and ears to see the world. That's how most mammals live, and that's why it's harder to get to know them than, say, birds, which are active and conspicuous during the day. But you can figure out how mammals like white-tailed deer spend their time by noticing evidence of their behavior. My neighbor, Scout, has developed a sharp eye for deer sign from hunting with his dad. Sometimes the signs are subtle, like the dark spots left by a fawn's delicate hooves pressing wet leaves into the ground. Other times, the signs are obvious, like droppings beneath a crab apple where a doe has been feeding. During the breeding season, bucks leave conspicuous signs to define their territories, attract mates, and warn other males. So when bucks are trying to uh, mark the territory at the beginning of the rut, they'll come in here with their, their feet, their hooves, sometimes their antlers, and just scrape that off, rub that around. See how it's, it's right down to the earth right here? Bucks typically choose spots just beneath a head-high hemlock or fir bough. And they'll rub on all these branches because right in here they have little sensory glands. And so that leaves scent all over these branches. And so the other deer know that this is that buck's territory. They also use their felt-covered antlers to rub the bark off slender trees. In winter, deer sign is lit up by the snow. If you follow tracks far enough, you'll discover where a fawn lay down for the day and melted the snow, with her mother sleeping nearby. Learning how to read signs in the woods is like turning on a light in the dark, giving you a glimpse into the diets, wanderings, and love lives of nocturnal mammals.